Okay, the last upload's doing good. Time to upload for next weekend. Oh shit. I may have gotten distracted by the funny numbers on my last video and forgotten or perhaps skipped out on uploading for a week or two. My bad. But on the bright side, my channel has made a lot of growth and for that I am eternally thankful. But if we have to talk about things that I haven't been doing so good, well... Season 6 has got to be one of the worst things I have subjected myself to watching. My excitement for the series has completely died, I forgot episode 5 had even come out and didn't even bother to watch it until 5 minutes before I wrote the script for this video. To say that this season has been a disappointment to me would be the biggest understatement ever. Where I expected this season to give more solid and intricate world building that would have had me coming back for the inevitable 20 seasons this show would span on for, instead I'm wondering if it's even worth it to finish this season. But let's dissect this from the very top. So season 6 was released and the first episode wasn't too appalling. It picked up right where we left off from the last major story event. Nothing too crazy. The rest of episode 1, however, is pretty bad. Most of the lore stuff isn't too compelling. I mean, yes we advance in the story and get conclusions to a few questions, but in the end most of the stuff revealed to us isn't all that important. At least not important enough for anyone to care or be invested in continuing in the season, let alone the show. The thing about story driven shows is that when you watch them, you're supposed to watch them for all the story beats to make sense. The reason I bring this up now is because season 6 was supposed to be a big thing. The creators themselves said it. Season 6 was supposed to reward old fans who had been watching the show since its first story beat. It wasn't meant to be catered to new fans just picking up the show, but I don't think the first episode truly rewards the older fans or captivates the new ones to go back and watch the older episodes. New fans might not like the old Rick enough to stick around for the new Rick 6 seasons in, and old fans might not like the new Rick enough to stick past season 6. But ignoring the story for a moment, because I said so, the humor hasn't been it at all either. We had an entire episode dedicated to Jerry finding out he's a cuck and self cessed which is just... wow. The only laugh I let out this episode was the last sequence because it was so comically bad that if I didn't laugh I would have to hear everything that was being said through the episode. Yeah Morty, this season has me just as upset as you right now buddy. The humor is dry and most of the jokes don't even get me to smile because they go on for a long time and are painfully unfunny while they're around. It seems the jokes this season all revolve around time and wasting it. But to be fair, after watching Smiling Friends, pretty much all the jokes in Rick and Morty have lost their shine. Most of them were just dark humor jokes, things from Nazi shrimps to 9-11. So after a while, the shock doesn't really make the jokes as funny as they used to be, especially since I was like mid-teen years when this show was airing those jokes, so I was in the wow, he made fun of women so it must be funny phase. But I'm not gonna lie, I think I would enjoy those jokes much more than what we have now, which is painfully unfunny pauses and incest jokes. Like seriously, this season feels like a slap in the face to anyone with a working brain. Like the creators are saying, ha, huh, look at the show you wasted your time supporting and watching. As they shove more and more incest jokes down our throats. You thought it was bad with Naruto? They dedicated an entire episode to Jerry trying to sleep with his mother. I wish I was making that up, but that is the unfortunate truth. They created, voiced, animated, and aired an entire episode where the focus is Jerry and his mom doing it. And even the throwaway jokes aren't that good. Run! Run by beauty! Well, butterfly on a corn cob, I see that I've romanticized a wild animal the same way Margaret Howe did when she jerked off that dolphin in the 1960s. Both she and I assaulted a captive creature, then expected it to be reciprocal. Well, jupity boop, time to die. I honestly don't think that this season was set up to be as good as it could have been. It was coming off the heels of an amazing episode that left people wondering what was next, but I don't think the writers chose the right path. For whatever reason, the writers chose to reset the series but also try and cling on to already established set pieces. You can't have the best of both worlds. And I would have much preferred if they had changed up the tone it had when coming back. Don't get me wrong, they definitely made some changes when they came back. But I much would have preferred if the story had less filler. Pretty much every single moment from every single episode since the first episode has been a major waste of time. I constantly asked myself before the start of each episode if something important was going to happen this episode, only to be hit with a mom and son or clone sex joke. Which is like, yeah, I get it, but you can stop now. 
I don't want to point fingers or accuse anyone, but someone on the comedy team is letting their fetishes run wild, and they need to be shot immediately, because this kind of behavior is unacceptable. Now I'm not a licensed professional. Everything I say should be taken with a grain of salt, because I've never written a story on this scale before. All I can say is, I don't like what the creators have given me. I don't know what I want in specific, but generally speaking, this isn't what I want, and I think I speak for a lot of dedicated fans when I say that. Which is sad because there was so much potential for this show to be good, even with all the rocky moments in the past with the fans and the drama and the sauce and whatever and whatever. I envisioned the sixth season of Rick and Morty to go a lot differently. After episode one, I was expecting the show to be pretty story driven with each episode and to try and tack some comedy onto it. But with each new episode, I realized that things were not going to function like that at all. After episode three, I found myself wondering when the next big story moment would happen. And now that we're at episode six out of 10, I don't see much hope for the season, let alone the series. I can see this going one of a few ways. Either they try and rush and conclude most of the story stuff that we already have right now in the last five episodes while also picking up from things we thought were throwaways which I don't see working because the writers have shown they can't handle much when it comes to not writing incest jokes or the rest of the season isn't eventful at all and they give us a big reveal in the last episode to leave us with a cliffhanger for season 7 the main issue I see with Rick and Morty outside of the show is that the writers have been given way too much freedom Rick and Morty has been renewed for 70 episodes, and the creators have stated from now on most or all seasons will have 10 episodes. So that means we have at least 7 more years of Rick and Morty since it's going to be one season per year. And the show primes itself on anything happening, so that means that the writers can do anything they want and have it be justified. The problem I see with that is all the freedom that the writers usually end up having, they just keep doing the same things over and over and over again but in extremes because they can. Either they focus too much on story and ignore the comedy the show is known for, or they jump off the deep end and try and find the most shocking and dark humor they can, which isn't working because they're jumping into the same spot every time and giving us the same jokes they did seasons ago, but worse. I think it's safe to say, unless the last few episodes of this season shake up the season majorly, that I won't be partaking in this season. Which kind of sucks because I was popping off on the last Rick and Morty video I made, but I don't see this season as rewarding or entertaining to keep watching. The jokes still suck, the story isn't going anywhere, at least not as fast as I want, and there are only 5 more episodes, to my knowledge, so I think it's safe to just give up on this season. I know that was a disappointing end to this video, but you know what is it disappointing? Sliping the like and subscribing. I've been growing my channel and would really appreciate it. All the growth from my last video has continued to make me happy every time I check the analytics, so thank you to everyone who already supports me, and if you don't, please consider it.